Hello everyone, this is Outrage back with another Unity tutorial. First of all, I want to say a big thanks for the support. 100 Outrage gamers are ready to learn more and more. I will make more awesome tutorials and devlogs in the future. Now let's get started. Here I have a scene in Unity and I have made a simple 2D platformer. Also, as you see, I have different ground colors. I'm going to create a sprite mask and drag a sprite with a circle shape there. You can see that nothing happens even if I make it bigger. Now check this out. If I make the blue ground visible inside the sprite mask, it's going to show up whenever I cover it with my sprite mask. The same happens with the pink ground, but this time it's visible outside the sprite mask. Now I'm going to make every blue ground visible inside the sprite mask and every pink ground visible outside of it. I also have a pink and a blue background, but this time I'm going to make the blue one visible outside the mask and the pink one visible inside of it, so that it creates this awesome effect. You can see that even if the ground doesn't show up, its collider works like it did before. Ok, cool. Now let's see what we can do with this awesome tool. First off, I'm going to select the sprite mask and create an idle animation that's going to stay empty and an active animation with which the sprite mask is going to increase size fast In the animator window, I'm going to create a boolean parameter named active and create the following transitions. Don't forget to disable loop time from the active animation. Nothing is happening for now. I'm going to create a parent for the sprite mask. That's going to have a box collider set to trigger and handle the animation with a script. I will create an animator variable and a game object variable in which I'm going to store the sprite mask. Then I'm going to check if the parent is colliding with the player. If so, the sprite mask is going to get bigger. If you use this script, make sure that the player has the right tag. I also suggest that you add an on trigger exit function that will make the sprite mask small again because it becomes more interesting that way. Now I will just modify the sprite masks a little bit. And I just made an interesting mechanic for a 2D platformer. Pretty cool, right? Imagine what else you could do by using sprite masks. Let me know if you have any ideas about how you could use a sprite mask down in the comments. Or even better, join my Discord server so that we can discuss about it there. You can also download the script from my Discord server. That was it. See you on the next video.